Hi, this is Andy at Hemp for Ready. So today we're going to show you how to take an old webcam, or you can buy a new one if you've not already got one, and use it with uh, an Android phone or an Android tablet. So your device, it must have USB host enabled. Um, to find that out, it's best to check on the website, but this is a Samsung J5 2016. Um, so most phones there have to support OTG via USB, which is on the go. So basically you could also test that by, uh, if you've got a mouse um, and one of these adapter cables, um, you can plug that in and you can try moving a cursor around with a mouse on your tablet. Sometimes that'll work on the cursor. Um, it's a little bit more difficult and tricky on a smartphone. So, um, so I recommend just looking that up before you start. Um, Otherwise, if you've already got one of these and you've got a cable, then it's worthwhile giving it a go. Um, the only other part I would recommend is getting a, a better quality lens. So you'll see this one, it's not got an IR cut filter on either. So you can actually make the camcorder, um, night vision camcorder, which uh, obviously being ghost hunting channel, that's what it's all about. So. Just be careful when you buy these cables, it must be an OTG, not just a, a USB uh, adapter to a micro adapter. Um, in preparation as well, if we just click along, if you, uh, if you download this app, it's a USB camera app. Um, if you just type USB camera in the Play Store, then uh, you'll see this one come up, USB camera connect. So we'll just put that down for a moment and we'll move back towards a camcorder or webcam. So if we, if you webcam, it should allow you to unscrew the lens. So what we can do then, if you've got the new lens, it will be an M12 lens. You can just screw that lens back in place. And then when you've plugged it into the phone, we'll just show you um, that in a moment, then you can adjust the focus by turning it in and out. So this is a 2.8 millimeter lens that's suitable for this camcorder. You can get wider lenses if you please. And uh, obviously more focused telephoto lenses. But we'll actually take a look at the lens that came with the camcorder itself. So you can actually dismantle this um, gently there. And if we look carefully down the barrel of the lens, we'll see there's a hot mirror in there and then the lens. So what we're going to do um, in this instance, uh, I'll get a, a small screwdriver. What I'm gonna do is try and push that lens out the back um, so I want to pu push it against the desk if you push away because you don't want to hit the lens if it suddenly pops I'll just just push this down put a bit of pressure on all right so we're seeing it go so that's obviously broken out um, but there's a, a series of you'll see just here series of lenses if you can get those out in the right order and you can uh, drop them drop them back in in order into this into this little recess then uh, game on you won't have to buy another lens so you can drop those back in there and just settle them in and then you get the other one the other way I think it might have been that way and you can uh, you can pop those back in to itself now you've removed that that lens so if you wanted it to be a night vision lens um, you take take that bit of glass out so putting that one to the side we'll use this lens as I was saying these are better quality probably get a higher level of light through this as well 
Um, so white moss, you might get a shallower depth of field. Um, this lens will be far superior uh, for night vision. So just careful not to cross thread it. If you just keep twisting it, you'll feel when it's a uh, you feel when it's it's right. There we go. No, <laughs> make it a bit of the pig's ear of this. So we'll sort of line it up. So if you don't get it in square, the problem is is we won't get it focus correctly in a minute. So what we do now is we'll get the OTT cable. We'll plug it on that. Just uh, find my trusty infrared tape. We'll mount this uh, just here. leave it there for now so we'll just leave that there and uh, turn the camera on we'll open the uh, the app and then it will say please connect your camera so you pop it in it should remember this camera because it's been in before if not then uh, it'll ask you whether you want it to be a default camera but we'll just plug that in there. So you can see now that that camera's attached. However, as you see, it's not in focus. So if we suddenly turn this in or out, there you go, you'll see that's, that's nice and sharp now. So if I drop uh, the lights, wait for me for red to come on, and there you have it. So, so there's a an infra portal behind me. Uh, I'll have a quick look around the room. See the the time there, my date. So, you can see it's very very sensitive to light. I've just got a a 12 LED, five millimeter LED infrared illuminator lighting this up. So if you just want it for daytime use, let's say you don't have to swap the lens, but uh, because we're using this for nighttime use, then that's the easy way around it. Any questions, please ask. Uh, like if you could subscribe to our channel, if you've not already done so, it just helps us uh, get more videos out like this to help and support yourselves. Okay, also, uh, ghost hunting equipment website infraready.co.uk as you can see uh, just there I've got a wide range of ghost hunting equipment that we ship worldwide so pop along take a visit It'd be much appreciated